hi guys we are going to look at part two in the bridge construction uh this is part two phase two which is load to side and uh, we are going to be discussing about it more Thank you guys. Uh, now this is the back side of the abutment shaft. What you see here, we have our reinforcements. Now these are the distributors. These are the distributors. And then we have this, these are the links that uh, is placing the reinforcement according to the measurements of the design. Also we have the whipples. These are the whipples that are in place in the measurements also as per the design. Uh, and also we have this side here. Uh, this side is the this side is the return mount as per the design. Now. Also, we have the whipples that are, are in place in the measurement as per the design. And uh, this reinforcement, this part is the abutment shaft. And also, these are the onch where where we're going to at least is the bringing the it's a marriage between the return wall and the abutment shaft also. And uh, these are the biscuits now. These are the biscuits that uh, is uh, the biscuits are controlling the is giving the the reinforcement the spacers the 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 reinforcement in order to achieve the the concrete cover of uh, okay that we have in the measurement for the design. <laughs> going also to put the brazers and the tie rod and uh, we're going to, uh, the brazers normally we put at uh, the centers of 60 at least to, to resist the, the the force of the concrete also tie rod the, the measurements of the tie rod normally we put the 60 60 cm square so that uh, we resist the, the pressure when they are going to vibrate the, to resist the pressure of vibration and also the pressure of the concrete 